Hey guys, Edith Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be working in my bathroom. And this is the toilet area that I would like to work on. I did a makeover a while back and the link for that video is going to be down in the description box below. Now I want to try something different. So I'm going to start off by taking crates that I got from Michaels and I'm going to attach doors to them and paint them white. I used these on another project and showed them in the bathroom but because they're short, I'm going to add other crates to them. Each of the crates will have two more crates added to them. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I made two of these and both of them are going to have wood by the side. This is what they look like. Now I'm going to paint them all white. I'm going to join these together with a single board at the top. When I was done, I gauged it to see if it was okay, and it is. I don't want it to be too obvious that I use crates, so I'm going to be covering some parts of it with white boards. The knobs that I had there were silver, now I'm going to strip in them gold because I would like to change the theme in my bathroom to be a mix of silver and gold. Now for the fun part, I'm going to use a pegboard in the bathroom. Now I did use a pegboard in my bathtub area and the link for that video is going to be down in the description box below. I really enjoyed using the pegboard there and it's so easy to use. So I want to try it out on the toilet area. Now I'm going to cut out just the parts that I know would be obstructing some parts that I have above the toilet area and the socket. So I'm going to cut out the parts that I don't need with my handy saw and the link for the saw is going to be down in the description box below.
I'm gonna turn it over to the back and attach paint stairs. Now this is gonna give it a little bit of distance between the board and the wall so that I can easily use the pegboard hardwares. I went ahead and I spray painted it gold. If you see the mirror that's at the back here, around the bathtub area, it's gold. So like I said, the theme is going to be gold and silver mixed together. What I have here is too much, so I'm going to cover that up much later. Now this wall here is also going to be covered because I don't like the color. So what I'm going to do now is take foam boards and cover it up with marble contact paper and attach it to the wall. This is light and weight, so I'm using tack nails to attach it to the wall. I cover this unit here with a wooden board that has been covered with glitter paper. And I forgot to mention that I added push lights under here on both sides and it uses a remote to easily turn it on and off. This will be in the bathroom, but the pack is not strong. So I'm going to make something much harder using foam boards. I'm going to cover this with marble contact paper. I'll be using these accessories on the pegboard. After mounting these accessories, I'm going to be having toilet paper on them. You can have as much as you like on the pegboard. I got this cute golden frame from Five Below and I'm gonna use it as a shelf. I added a little bit of hot glue here to elevate it just a bit so that when I put it on the hardware, it's gonna be straight. There are different kinds of pegboard hardwares. Now this is another type that I intend to use to hold a tissue box. I made a hole at the back of the box to make it easy for me to mount this on the hardware. Now I'm gonna add little items here. And the funny thing is I have a friend who has different fragrances for hand wash. So I'm gonna have mine as well. It's a very funny idea, but I think I like it. Now this marble here goes with a marble that's on the wall. It's so pretty. I'll be adding a tray where I'm going to have some cute turtles on top of it. But the idea is for the turtles to hide air freshener pads that will be under them. I really do love the idea of the pegboard here because it makes it so easy to have items on the pegboard to save space. Now on this wall, because it's kind of bare, I added a frame with a picture inside. And guess what? I got what you see inside from a Dollar Tree calendar. This cute little flower you see here is in the lid for a gold spray paint can. 
The picture frame besides the golden pegboard is black, so I'm going to change it to a golden picture frame, just so that it will go with a golden pegboard. Now that I'm done with this side of my bathroom, I'm going to be working on the other side where the mirror is and I'm going to be sharing it with you guys pretty soon. And when I'm done with the overall bathroom, you will know why I chose a gold color for the pegboard for this design. This is a remarkable transformation from what it used to look like before. It was really just boring and all alone. Now it has a little bit of character and I love it. I hope you all enjoyed this video and learned one or two things from it. Now don't forget to like it and share it with your friends and families as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.